Hi, this is Rodrigo Sa from All About Aquaculture. Tout sur l'aquaculture au profil d'Afrique. I am still in Nigeria um, today. Uh, I am with Pastor Israel Olusegun Adjose, Great Aquaculture Nigeria Enterprises, Lagoon Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. Nice. And uh, Pastor is uh, involved in catfish hatchery, so he's yes. one of the leading uh, producers of catfish fingerlings in Nigeria. So he's going to open his doors to us, to let us know part of the secrets of the success of catfish farming in Nigeria. So stay tuned. Thank you. Where, where are we here? We, we are here to know about the water source of hatching. We don't use the borehole water directly from the borehole. We put it here in the reservoir, here in these rubbers, in these buckets. We put them here, we condition them here, we treat them here and let them uh, access oxygen. Because from the borehole, they have little at oxygen. But here they can access oxygen and get oxygen. More oxygen into the water before it goes up into the tank and the tank flows into the hatchery for the hatching of the eggs. So it helps the eggs to hatch very well. Okay, okay. So you do a pre-treatment yes, you of do the a water. Because when you take from the borehole directly, it will not help. It comes the borehole water comes out with little oxygen. But when you allow it in the tank, it access oxygen by itself and it increases the oxygen level. So that one helps the hashability to increase. So that's stage one with it. Now we are going to the hatchery now. In order to see what we do, how we start it. Many farmers made the mistake of cutting spam directly on the eggs. Cutting spam directly on the eggs, you have including the impurities, the, the, uh, the white blood, the red blood, all those things are impurities. They all added to it, the fats in the, in the dots, in the spam dots. The spam there, everything there, the protein there, the, other necessary, other impurities. And many, many are impurities. When I mean impurities, I mean so many debris that may follow the spam dots. And, but what we do is, you have to incubate the spam. If you incubate the spam, in the process of incubation of the spam, you have eliminated the impurities. Mm. And so that will help the, the that will facilitate the hatching the sperm will be able to swim fast and very effectively into the eggs and in that, in that case you can get 90 percent hatchability you can get 90 percent hatchability nice and so how do you increase your hatchability and how do you incubate that you incubate by putting uh this cutting the sperm into the normal saline mm -hmm. when you cut it into the normal saline you keep it for two hours minimum minimum of one hour and maximum of three hours minimum of two of one hour mm -hmm. if it's not to one hour it won't fertilize very well okay but one hour to two hours the normal saline will take care of the fats will separate the fats if you look very well in in the in the in the continent in the in the tin in which you call the spam you will see the spam moving in ring ring form anti-clockwise it will move anti-clockwise yes it will move anti-clockwise once it started moving anti-clockwise you see the spam is very effective nice. and the same thing when you look at the fish in the bucket when you take fish out the fingerlings out you see them walking anti-clockwise mm. if farmers should observe that nice. you see it works anti-clockwise in the bucket Mm. the fries the fingerlings mm -hmm. that is how they work the same way the spam works mm. yes the, the spam spins that way here um here is our hatchery the hatchery but this hatchery capability can hatch as many as a million egg at a go. Really? Yes. At uh, a go. For which surface area? Um, with this 
one by one meter squared. This is one by one meter squared. We have five here, but we use four. These tarpaulins ones are four. Here in this part of this this part of the world, we don't have enough uh, electricity. Mm -hmm. So because of that, we have to use something that will not. Uh, we have to manipulate uh, instrument uh, machines that will not use electricity. That we need only some other ways of uh, heating. Of, in, of increasing our heat. So, this tarpaulin is a good conductor of heat. So, it can absorb heat very well. It can absorb and transfer heat. So, under it, we have an aluminium. There's an aluminium under. Why aluminium? Not, why the, not wood? No, the wood, the wood cannot work. The aluminium holds, look at it, you see, there is, there is, there is uh, a gas there. No, this stove here. Oh, so the heater. There is a stove there. Okay. Okay, now, this stove is using gas. Mm -hmm. So once we on it, the gas will be going here. Mm -hmm. You see now, the heat will, will go around when this one is sprinkling. Mm -hmm. When the water here is sprinkling, mm -hmm. then the, it will be rolling like this. That is why you see this thing is like this. The other one is there, so it rolls like this. So once it comes, once this one started sprinkling, it will be rolling it, rolling it. As it is rolling it, the heat will be evenly spread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get it now. Yes. The heat will be evenly spread. So this, this, this four can take up to uh, 6 kg, 6 kg plus of egg. 6 kgs of yes. eggs? Like recently we did 6.8 kg of egg in them. And we have 90% survival of hatchabella. For how many females? We use 24 to 25. 24 females. So you breed 24 females yes. at once? Yes, with yeah. one male. One male. With one male? One male. Oh, so you collect uh, only, uh, only one male smell and only one male sperm. You don't need plenty milk. If you don't know how to incubate, mm -hmm. you'll be using meals plenty. You'll be using four, three, four, five meals. You don't use that. Once you know how to incubate, no matter how small it is, you mm -hmm. take care Science of it. Science says one dot has millions, millions of sperm of, of of sperm head. You get it now. Mm -hmm. So to prove that, to prove that, you use it that way. Nice. Once you can fertilize, you can incubate. Okay. But talking about the water, what is uh, those? What this, are those filters? These are filters mm -hmm. because the egg of of a catfish is sticky. It's not like that of tilapia. The tilapia eggs is glassy. Mm -hmm. It's like a glass, but this one is sticky. So if any debris it comes, it it it, it will attract it. Are you getting me? So for that reason, we put this filter here to filter down, to filter out all those uh, debris that may likely close the nose of the egg. You know, the egg has nose mm -hmm. by which it breathes. It breathes the oxygen in the water. You get it now? Mm -hmm. So once any debris is there, the debris only close the nose of the egg. And once the nose of the egg is being closed, the yolk will not, but the yolk will not go. The yolk will die. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those are the things that kills the, uh, the, the, the fry at the early stage, the egg. So the egg will not come to lava. Okay. Yeah. And and how long do you do this? Uh, um, this one with this quantity here. You see, here is four. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have we have this is one by one square meters. Mm -hmm. In farm, we have one by two square meters. Mm -hmm. And this one will go into ten. One of these will go to 10, this one will go to 10, this one will go to 10, this one will make it 40. After hatching 6 kg here, uh, it takes marine, it takes 24 hours for collection. By the time it will be 27, 28 hours, it can it can contain it. Mm -hmm. This place cannot contain it again. They will die. If you leave it for 30 hours, they will die. Okay. You get it now. Mm -hmm. So immediately it is it hatches. Maybe because if you put these stoves, it will hatch in 14 hours. 
Yes. But if you only put the stove, it will hatch in eight, it will hatch in twenty, twenty-four hours. Mm -hmm. But if it hatches in four, four, fourteen, forty, fifteen hours, mm -hmm. that means you add another ten hours to it. To you will transfer it to the farm. Okay. To where you have more water, easy spread. So like we have, we have our own incubator. We have forty. Uh, it is uh, I think it's fifty cent. Let me let me say two rollers is sixty. Mm -hmm. Abi, that is sixty centimeters depth, and the body is one by two. Are we going to see that? Yes, we are going to see. Okay, thank you. So that is forty, mm -hmm. and this one we go into ten, 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 making forty. Okay. So after forty, three days. Four days after forty, after you put it to that forty. What is forty? I need the forty incubator. Ah, okay, incubators. okay. Yes. After putting it into that, mm -hmm. in another uh, three, four days there, the first once they start eating, you transfer them from there into another vat. And that we are all going to see. We are going to see that. Okay. So why is simple? Mm -hmm. The simple logic behind it is the lava. Share the lava. The lava used to share a particular poison in its body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the space where they grow, the first growing, the first, the first two three days before they start eating, mm -hmm. there is no way by a farmer can clean it by running water. It mm -hmm. won't clean it. Mm -hmm. So those ones will kill the fry there if you keep them there long. So you have to pack them, bring them. And take them to another fresh ground, or you clean them from there. You reclaim the place and replace it. And when you say reclaim the place, what do you use to? You can use normal soap. You can use salt. You can use anything to clean. Just okay. ordinary cleaning is not. Okay. Mm, to, to wipe away the, the, the poison. Okay. Mm -hmm. So because one thing with catfish is that everybody should know that catfish is a carnivorous animal, mm -hmm. and nature has made it that catfish has poison kill to eliminate themselves and to consume themselves so that the population can be low can be lower in order not to consume the other creatures too much mm -hmm. the water mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are you getting it yes and yes. that's how nature did it so if you now want it to yourself now you have to you have to know those principles to eliminate it if not so they will kill themselves and you will be at loss nice thank you thank, thank you. you so much how long the process takes here before you uh, move everything to the to the farm for nursery? It takes three days. Oh, so Monday evening by eight o'clock a.m. Uh, p.m. we will induce. So we will strip by seven o'clock the following day. That will be that is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, a.m. on Tuesday after ten hours. So we do, we we, we, stri we do the stripping. So we do the stripping and the fertilization. Okay. The egg will start to hatch by 10 a.m. in the night. Okay. So by 7 p.m., by, by 7 a.m. the following morning, that Wednesday morning, they are ready for taking. Okay. So, so early Wednesday morning, we start transferring them to their space. If not so, in two, three hours to come, by, by let's say by 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning, they will start dying okay. because the population is high. Okay. Uh -huh. I see. So... We take them up there. So we, we, now we are now going, going there. To, you can see if the vats in which we spread each one of the each one of the container. Thank you. I hope you like this video. As usual, I'll invite you to share the video and invite other people to subscribe to All About Aquaculture to see Aquaculture Profit Africa. Thank you. Bye bye. Odabo. Odabo. Odabo.